Oh man, I really haven't brushed my hair. Oh well. Danny's hair is disgusting. I had a shower. What the like hell is happening? Eight minutes ago. It's getting that. Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Now you're eating. I'm breakfast. in breakfast. I don't need these headphones on. I'll put them away. I was just making sure that they're the getting Vegemite all over them. Music was going. Uh, all right. So wait, hello. Hold on. No, I want my head that way. That's. Welcome no, to Danny. I'm just gonna flop my head forward and let my put hair a fall hat. where put it a may. Hat on. Uh, okay, better. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome. Oh, hey, hey. Got a couple of first Poppy timers. Red. Glad now, to see you. Okay, your name is Poppy Red 81 at all. And I hope that your brain does the same thing as mine and sings um, Flowers from Hades mm -hmm. Town when I see your, your name. I hope it's a, I hope even if it's not a reference to Flowers from Hades Town, I hope you sing it every time you see your own name. Yeah. Thank you, Jim. Oh, thanks, Jim. Thanks, it's Jim. That's pretty exciting. All right, so since you're eating, we clearly need to do a warm up before we get into seventh guest. Okay. Yeah, so I'm eating breakfast. I'm un I was unorganized. Oh, I forgot we were streaming. So at some point in the next half hour, I'm gonna run out and yeah, eat at least breakfast. I remembered. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, it's brekkie. It's always brekkie. We will be playing some seventh guest. Uh, for I know that people earlier mentioned. That someone hadn't seen us play any seventh guest. If you're new, this is your first time here. Someone else said they don't know seventh guest. If it's your first time playing seventh guest, it's a 1993 puzzle game with full motion video. Uh, it's very silly. Some of the puzzles have become more difficult since. This is what I'm obsessed with. We played a puzzle uh, last week that was like you play against a computer. To, in, a, in a board game. And the way that the computer has been programmed is based on like how much it can process based on your computer's processing speed. So in 1993, it was a very reasonable difficulty. But in 2024, your computer is very good at processing stuff, which means their computer is insanely good at playing the game and makes, is unbeatable. Makes the perfect move every time and is, it's, it's gone from... It's turned into deep blue... So we had to uh, locate an online AI version of the game that someone created specifically in order to beat the seventh guest computer. Mm -hmm. uh, so luckily uh, we won that and we don't have to do it again. We'll find out. It's uh, Vegemite on an English muffin. Yeah, it's Vegemite on an English muffin. What are you talking about? Vegemite on bread. What are you talking about? Yeah, of course That's it is. That's what I'm going to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, the advances in technology in one decade. I dropped a pencil. So yeah, uh, it was great fun. Uh, and we're enjoying it. There's lots of silly little puzzles and, and, and way too many chess puzzles. Yes, if we get another chess puzzle, I'm happy to start cheating. Yeah, so this may be... If you're here for the first time and we're playing Yes, the chess, microscope cell division puzzle is the one that in, the, in this current version that we are playing is unbeatable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so if you... Uh, this, this, if you think, wow, they're giving up quickly, it may be because we've done so many chess puzzles and we do not want to do another one where we take a bunch of knights and take a bunch of other knights and move them so that the knights and the knights it are in different places. So and, oh my long. God, it's so much chess puzzle. It's good fun. It's a very lovely game. The reason we started streaming it is because we were playing the VR version. So there's been a VR remake where it's completely remade. All the puzzles are different. They reacted all, out all the FMV. Uh, but the the VR version is fantastic. If you have access to a VR headset of some kind, uh, you should get it because it's great. Where should I go next? Yeah, this narrator's voice is going to be imprinted on my brain for a while. <laughs> but we still need a warm up. I think we should do one archived actoral. Well, I'm eating breakfast, so if you want to do an actoral, um, I'll I'll click over, but you'll have to take control. Of course. You will have to. Take control. I remember. <laughs> Here's the thing. I use way more Vegemite. Don't don't follow my Vegemite usage if you want to try Vegemite. You should have only yeah. a little bit. I have I'll, a lot. When I have my breakfast, I'll show you the way that a regular person can consume it. Uh, do, 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 do. Wow, it's the wrong screen. Why does it do this? 
Learn. Remember. There you go. It learned and remembered. <sighs> I don't know what to liken Vegemite's flavor to in anything really, except for Marmite. That's all I got. It's too good. Right. I don't want to do today's. I want to do past ones. It's, some people, I think, get an impression that when Australians talk about liking Vegemite, it's sort of put on for the tourist because we know it, it's a divisive flavor. And so we're like, oh, no, it's great. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, and then we trick people into having it, like some other regional delicacies. Like, I don't know how many Is Hakal Swedish... really eaten? Yeah, I don't know how many people really? are like, oh, I'm going to, you know, I lo- I'd eat this every day. Vegemite's just actually legitimately good, and I don't always yeah, tell everybody. It's, it's, it's an everyday is, eat. You, I will constantly have it on. It's like every day, a lot of it. Like, what is wrong with all of you who don't? I don't understand it. All right, let's embiggen in this a little. Like Americans and peanuts, just in general. Peanut butter in everything. They love it. You guys are obsessed with it. And hey, it's fine. You guys are obsessed with it. Oh, for sure. Uh, one day, my cousin had an amazing race-themed birthday party, and one of the challenges was just, here's a spoon, here is the Vegemite, eat it. And uh, that was really difficult. That's, that's, that's That fun. wasn't fun. Yeah, you don't eat it by itself. <laughs> Jalapeno candy with scorpions in it. Yeah, that's that's a lot. But I wonder, like, how bad is that compared to how it sounds? Ah, all right. So let's take a look at this actoral. So actoral, if you haven't seen it before, it's just a list of someone's IMDb credits. Not necessarily a full list of credits. Sometimes they start at the wrong period. Sometimes if they're uh, apparently uh, foreign language films, they don't necessarily include those. I've noticed, but uh, we've got some information. We just need to figure out who the actor is based on this. So this person starts early. 1984 adventure romance comedy action. Romancing I- the Stone. I'm going with Romancing it's the Kathleen Stone. Kathleen Turner. It could be Kathleen Turner, in which case we should be looking for who framed Roger Rabbit, right? Huh. Do we see a question mark anyway? I don't know what year it was, but it's earlier than 1993, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Okay, so not Kathleen Turner. Okay, beyond that... um. I, Michael Douglas. Yeah, could be him. Um, what are we looking for for Michael Douglas? Wall Street. Okay, that would also be 80s. There is. T-R-E-E-T. Crime drama. Great, we got Michael, Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas. We've done it. We figured out who it is. It's Michael Douglas. Oh. And that's how you play actor. We didn't even have to leave the 80s. That we is We didn't even have to leave the 80s. Unusual. Sometimes you find Romancing the Stone and you just go from there. Total ants. Ants scare me. Like, do they have a way to get all the acid out of them? I think if you want to start eating bugs, the way to start small is, um, is with Deep like fried cricket. No, 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 no. Is with um, like meal, like ant meal. Oh yeah, like sure. Like when they That's... take the bugs and they grind them all up, and then you basically just have flour that you know is made of bugs, but it doesn't feel like you're eating a bug. I think that's how you start small. Yeah, that's absolutely fair. We have slash had a like, bakery here that made cupcakes out of. Uh, insect meal. I have no idea if it still exists. All right, one more, then we can start playing. Ooh, 1999. Okay, I know what this is. We we've had this one a few times. Oh, Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Okay. So that was their first movie. Well, asterisk. Well, it's probably okay. not their first it movie. It says on this thing that it's their whole filmography. And everything implies it's their whole filmography. And for most people, it's their whole filmography. And we yet. just had Brad Pitt one day and we knew that it, and it cut off anything from like, it didn't have Thelma and Louise. It didn't have... But when we had What's Her Name, who was in lots of uh, Oh yeah, Chinese and it doesn't films. include things that aren't like and some released French in America. Films. Yeah. yeah. But no, there have been a few that are questionable. Didn't uh, Matthew McConaughey or something start in 2000? Oh, maybe. Hmm. Well, either way, they were in episode one, The Phantom Menace. So they're probably young in episode one. Hmm. Are they that kid? Are they the kid who's not Hayden Christensen? No, because then their credits would stop the second afterwards. Yeah. Because he didn't keep acting. Uh, That's Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. So who was in episode one and Pirates? This is Keira Knightley. That's oh, Bend It Like Beckham. It's Bend it like Beckham. That's her body doubling for Natalie Portman. That's body doubling for Natalie Portman. <laughs> oh, how fun. Go Kira. Or Kira? How do you pronounce her name? Kira. Kira Knightley. Kira. Kira Knightley. It's a name. Kira Knightley. There she is. Looking all nightly. Ah. Oh. Have you seen Bend It Like Beckham? Was that elite for Americans out there? Was that big in America at all? What is 
is wrong with me not being able to say whole filmography? You got a problem with whole filmography? <laughs> I know I was eating breakfast, but come on, it's their whole filmography. <laughs> From content, we're looking at a fi- we're looking at someone's filmography, and you can't figure out I'm saying whole filmography. They should have spent it like Beckham at school, as well. They should have students here are taught uh, Bender like Beckham in year ten or year eleven English. It's really worthwhile. It's a good movie. Uh, I don't know if when you say they showed it to you in school, it was for study purposes, but it's really good. It's about contrast. It's about conflicting culture. It's about soccer good stuff. You need to watch it. And you need to watch um, Whip It, and you need to watch... There's one more that goes in the trio. She's the man. No, it's not She's the Man. I feel like it's one with a boy. A boy. Oh, Billy Elliot. Billy obviously. Elliot. Yeah, you need to watch those three movies all together to compare and contrast um, cultural expectations with sport desires. <laughs> it's a very niche set of movies. You wouldn't think there'd be so many of that theme, but there really are. It's a big deal. Well, geography. Also, yeah? Bender Like Beckham is surprisingly Jonathan Rhys Myers' least creepy role. And yet. <laughs> I, I, say, I say that I, I've only ever really seen Jonathan Rhys Myers in two things. I've seen him in uh, Bender Like Beckham and I've seen him in um, a BBC adaptation of Gormenghast <laughs> where he was Steer Pike. And for all you steer pike heads out there, you know you know what I'm saying. He's a weird guy. Yeah. Uh, Bender like Beckham is great, and it's got Archie Punjabi in it. And it's got Archie from Punjabi the Good in Wife. It. So nice to see her getting to be English. One more. We've been doing too well. What are you talking? You can't. Do- okay, this is the b- only problem with Actor. If you want to play it at home, here's the only problem. Sometimes your partner will continue to play it even after saying this is the last one over and over again forever. And here's, here's the problem. Danny feels so good playing Actor that Danny will continue playing every single time, being like, no, let's do one more, let's do one more, until you get one that doesn't make Danny feel good. And then like, well, now I feel bad, so I have to do one more to feel good again. And it just goes on forever. 2001, something of the something sci-fi. Something of the something sci-fi. Planet of the Apes. <gasps> Tim Burton's, right. That's Tim Burton's Planet that of the is. Apes. That is. Okay. Um, is that Fight Club? That is Fight Club. Then I think we're Helena Bottom Cartering, but okay. we can be sure. Uh, what about Hamby and Hambus, the Gwimbity Gwamby Gwam Gwam Gwas? Uh, I'm looking for Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber Sweeney of Fleet Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet I should really look... Yeah, uh, yeah, it's all good. We've got one non-Tim Burton, so it's all good. Okay. Helena? <laughs> Watching Bender like Beckham feels uncomfy when you're the only Indian student in class. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I can believe that. Yeah. There was a moment in my high school. This is only this is not relevant at all, particularly. Um, I went to a selective school, has a very high Asian population, and one day we were again uh, doing some sort of cultural studies in English. We watched the Joy Luck Club. Sure. And someone says something in Cantonese or Mandarin. Can't remember. Most of my class was Cantonese, so I want to say probably that, but I don't know. And like. All of the class burst out laughing at whatever that character said. It wasn't subtitled or anything. So I and a couple of other non-Chinese speaking students just went, thanks, guys. (laughs) They didn't tell us what it was. Rude. Rude. All right. I think it's time to talk about whether or not we'll start playing Seventh Guess. Shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it was laugh if you understand this. It may well have been. <laughs> it's like those kids sitting smugly, having not written on their page when everyone else is writing because the final question of the exam is, don't write anything and you get 100%. percent <laughs> Out. Sorry, just looking back, you had a double feature of Bend It Like Beckham into Hotel Rwanda. <laughs> oh my God. That's curious. That's a ba- that's a weird combo. I haven't had too many double features. The most memorable one that I had was um, School of Rock into Scary Movie Three. Ooh, that was a combo. All right. <clears throat> I think we're good. I think we're good to. I should put some headphones on. 
well, I can't. I've got to go make breakfast. All right, go make. Well, then, do you want me to start the? Yeah, game yeah, absolutely. Uh, if I recall correctly, we are totally stuck. So I need you to flounder around for a bit. Oh, I don't remember being stuck. I thought we were going to jump straight into some. We couldn't even success. get out of the room again. Oh no. You've been asked what you're having for breakfast. I'm going to take a guess at Vegemite on toast. Yep. A normal amount of Vegemite on toast. Okay. Uh, what are we playing? Seven. I think. I think I remember how to set this up. I gotta. You, I gotta open up. Oh, I gotta open up Steam. How can you not have bread? How can you not have bread in your house? All right, here we go. So we're, we're a fair way in. We probably, I think we might be able to finish the game today. I think that's the plan, is to finish Seventh Guest. Um, and then we'll just play the Bellatro demo. All right, Seventh Guest. I want to get this version going. Oh, sure. Oh, diabetes. Well, isn't that convenient? <laughs> Don't give a dog half a slice of Vegemite toast every morning. Uh, I think this should work if I go Legacy Edition and we run this. Let's hope this works. And if it doesn't work, well, I'll be mad. Back for more? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back for more. We were feeling lonely, so we're back for more. Right. Load, please. Old AI is best. Why are you dancing? What are you dancing about? See, we're still stuck in this room. All right. Get us out. So I'm assuming we've saved after we beat the do whacker. Oh, that's right. To get to that door, which is just a foot to our left, we have to walk all the way here, climb the table, move over to a microscope, turn around, and then go out the door. They really could have parsed this a little better. <laughs> all right. Here we are, back in a room. So let's have a look at our map. And figure out where we're going. So for people who don't know or do know, there's a map. And the red ones are rooms we have done. And brown ones are rooms that are available to us. I don't know what the hell room that is. What's this mystery room? There's no way to get there. Maybe that's the crypt? No, the crypt is downstairs. Um, either way, we can do the music room or whatever room that is. And then if we go upstairs, we apparently still haven't solved the hallway. Yeah, but we just last, solved these two rooms here. Last week we solved it, but it probably wasn't going to be something in here, though. Uh, but we can go to the music room. So let's go to the downstairs kind of big room that we haven't done. And there's a and Danny, there's a mystery room that I don't know how to get to. Yeah, yeah. Do we have to leave the house? Maybe. You remember in the VR version, the kitchen had a door going off it that looked like it led outside. It did have a door going off it that looked like it led outside. And we couldn't go through it, but maybe you can go through it in this version. Oh, maybe we should go through it in this version. Okay, so Vegemite, normal, normal amount of Vegemite. I might. Nah, I can leave my microphone. Nah, Look, should I put my microphone down so you don't hear me chewing as much? Just lean away when you chew. Ah, oh, fucking nonsense. All right, let's go into this room. Finally, this room's been mocking us the entire game. But we can finally go in. What's inside? Music! Vegemite is salty yeast paste. 
Oh, if you take me to a different room. <laughs> like Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> like Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> you took me to another room, you absolute freak. Why would you do this? Are I've we... solved this room already. What's that on the, which one is that on the bed? Oh, <laughs> flipping stuff. Yeah. I can climb down. <gasps> I can climb down. Oh, I can climb down. Oh, thank you, everybody. I can climb down. All right. <gasps> I don't know if that music matches those hands. What music is it? It's like a, a broken midi of Flight of the Bumblebee. Oh, cool. I, I prefer Vegemite to Marmite. I'm sure that preferring Vegemite to Marmite is because I grew up with it, but... For me, it's because Marmite is just a hint more liquid, and I'm not crazy about that. It's a stealth way. <laughs> this piano for a song. Also, Simon says. Oh, no. to play follow the leader. Bah. How many bah. pieces do you think? Knowing 1993 games, steps. this is going to go 12 steps. Bah. 18 steps! Here. I bet I could play it. Bah, 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 bah. Leaving it to Billy, he knows bah. music. Bah. Patent to this. I thought that might be where we Okay, we're just starting again. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Oh. 
come on. All right. Oh, come on, man. Oh, okay. You're at about 13. If I get this wrong, do I have to start from the beginning? Maybe. Let me know if you start with panic then. Oh, but you're in red. Do I have to start over? Do I have to start from one again? I assume you have to start over. Do I have to start from one again or do I just get to start from the one I was up to? If this starts me from one again, this is the final room that we do today. Bye. See you later, piano. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. I'm not spending 20 minutes singing a song. Just give me the final one and let me play that. Someone play the harp instead. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the button turned into a hand. You're so good at music puzzles. They're playing it now. It was much quieter for some reason, but they were playing the song. So now I know what it is. Oh, I'm, we're not doing this room. I'm coming back to it later. I'm so sorry. That hurts. Ooh. Thanks. I have no idea what that was saying. This is a night a couple times. Oh yeah, it's not about the hint book solving it. Like you would he was doing amazingly at the solving part. It was just the <sighs> Like <sighs> it, it it was just the process of it will take so long. Yeah, I'll come, we'll come back to it later. Let's see if we can go out through the kitchen and find that secret conservatory outside. Yeah, sure. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. I don't care about no dining room. I ain't going in there. There we are. A spooky glitch. Imagine your eye turns into a skeletal head. Ah, ah. We dare you to add. Triple dare you to add. You're too scared to walk through the house. I guess so. <gasps> the kids snuck in. They dead tad. Everyone's seen this phone as like a spooky standing up owl man, right? Like, I'm not the only one who's looking at this guy being like, 
Oh. He's looking over at the door going, oh. Well, I guess it's a sign that we should look at that door. Like, I'm, I'm not crazy, right? Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Let me look left. No. Ah, oh, well. But, but, how do we get out there? Do we go out the window that he came in? If I look right, can I click on the window and jump out? No, <laughs> you kept looking. Oh, what a taunt. How do we get to this secret room? I don't know. I can look it up. But wait, is this the only other room? No, no. There's plenty of stuff upstairs. I just, you know, I figured the, the door outside might lead outside. Yeah. The only thing I will take for people who know Seventh Guest, which I think is like one person in the chat right now. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this heaps of you. If there's a chance we, we're going to miss that room and never do it, if we don't get to it at the right time, let us know. Oh, yeah. I don't want to miss any rooms. Oh, that's right. Bruce knows everything. Except how to spell spaghetti. Yeah. How ironic. Last week we were having issues with the music and the corridors not working. I don't remember it being this good. Down, down, down. Down, down. We're not going to touch you, hands. We're going deeper into the corridor. And then we're going deeper into the corridor. And then we're going deeper into the corridor. And I want to say we want to get down to this room. Oh my. <clears throat> what a tiny door. Pretty little bitty this door. Isn't right. Oh, we're in the doll room. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, that's the end of Seventh Guest. All right. This room was hard in the VR version, but <laughs> fun. <laughs> Let's do it. Look at this guy looking around so no one is because oh, he's yeah. nervous that he's anyone was going to see his snake. brain throb. No one knows my brain is throbbing. I think he's into it. No, you're right. I think he loves the brain throb. He likes that people are watching. All right, here we go. Slide puzzle? Sl oh. Give up? Yeah, I give up, dummy. Huh. I mean, there's nowhere to slide, right? Unless the bottom one disappears. No, 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 no. They cannot be clicked. Ah, but we can press the buttons. Oh, like that's much harder. Is this like move this whole ver column vertically? That's how I assume. And this is like move the whole column horizontally? That's how I assume it. Horizontally? Oh, boy. Oh boy, horizontally. I think this will be chill. But you have are to Are you sure? Several of the pieces are identical. Oh no. <laughs> they are identical. Oh no. You guess these pieces. Oh, okay, you know, they so are identical. Them. So, oh, so we got to flip them. Oh, well, this. So, what does this do? Okay. Okay, now we have all the identical lows. What happened, though? <sighs> I clearly just. Is there any pattern to these? We might be able to get an order out of them, I assume. If, will this go back? Do you think this will take them back to what they were? Looks okay. like it. Okay. This feels like we might have to write down. Oh, so that's their vertical order. But the vertical order will be different from their horizontal order, presumably. Yeah. Like, okay, hold on. If I press up on this, it goes from ruins to man standing on a ledge. If I go down, it should go back to ruins, right? Yeah. Right. Now, if I hit right on this, it goes to a kirk on a hill. If I press left, it should go back to ruins. 
If I press left, it goes to man standing. Hold on. If I go right and I bring it back to here, so up brought it to man standing. Does down bring it to Kirk on a hill? Okay. So that tile is following the same pattern, mm -hmm. right? Where if the top is plus, left is plus. Yes. Right. I, thought, so the I pictured tops them and as the being lefts, minuses, but yeah, sure. Okay, either way. But the yeah. top and the left are the same. Yeah. So taking this one stage left and taking it one stage up is the same. Mm -hmm. Taking it one stage right or down is the same. Yep. So each tile has its own pattern. This may not be true. Maybe we just lucked into something badly. But it looks like... <laughs> uh, if we go... Yeah, like up and left are the same. So if we go northwest, we're kind of going positive or we're going further down... Mm. And he's going the other way. The bishop's puzzle was harder than the knight's puzzle. The knight's puzzle was just long. Yeah, the knight's puzzle wasn't difficult. We got it first try once we figured out what <laughs> it, it was. It was just a very long try. It just takes forever. All right, so here's the question. What did the picture look like? <laughs> Should we leave and try and get a, a, a see if it reforms <laughs> the picture? I think that's a good I idea. I have to start again. Yeah. Okay, it is... Oh, the house on the hill being that's ruined. It's yeah. a ruined house on the hill. That's pretty cool. All right. Okay. <laughs> so because they weren't knights. Everything must be knights. All right. Well, let's see if we can get these to be some sort of paths. Oh, interesting. Row by row? Okay. Yeah, I think let's just start making them, right? Like, oh, they didn't change at all? No, they did. It's probably going the exact wrong way. I believe so. That's okay. Now, you are currently correct. You need to be the next in the sequence, so I'll press up. Cool. Fantastic. You were correct, so I'm going to press minus. And look at that. That's now correct. Look how that's correct not, this is. That doesn't look correct. No, this this, and this were right. Oh, the, but that doesn't match up with this. Oh, you're right. These, were these two over? Oh, these two need to be over one. So you're correct. You need to be this. Okay, hold on. I'll... I'll up these so you become the next in the sequence. Nice. And I'll up these so you become the next in the sequence. Then I'll minus you. And I'll minus you. And I believe that's basically done. Oh, we just won. Hey, everybody, we just finished oh, it. That was amazing. I expected... Cricket, is it? A lot more coordination to have to be required. You just nailed it. And that's how you play the flippity flompus game. Dolls! Why would Stoff keep this room, a room filled with dolls, locked? Unless... Oh, no! I know what this is. I know what these dolls are. Don't you see? Don't you see what this is? They're the... Boys, she led me next door to us, and Samantha, she got sick, and oh no, the dolls are the children. The this children guy won an Emmy. Wait, who's the guy? These dolls. That was his deal. Stoff took the children, but not all of them. Only a certain number. And oh damn, I thought he like went on to win an Emmy. That would have been cool. that you just said for tonight the children had to be collected there must be one more child coming the last guest no no he's here already i've seen him he ran away away, away. the others are learning about the boy what must happen to him what must be done but we've got to find him and get him out you look downstairs, and I'll look upstairs. We must move fast before the others. Well, there you I have it. I feel like the information about the storyline is kind of more spelled out for you in this version than the VR one. Well, the VR one... It's like, not unclear. I think the difference is, in the VR one, often by doing the puzzles, you learn the story. Whereas this game is often... 
here's a puzzle to do. Now let me tell you some story. Like we kind of had a whole thing. Like this doll puzzle was do a little flip thing. Yeah. And then I'm going to tell you about the dolls. In the VR version, it's one of the Working dolls starts the dolls. to like speak with you. And then you like have to put the right heads on the correct dolls. And then you move them. And then you learn about the dolls. And then you have them make a tea party with them. And then like you find like, oh no. Oh, they're all... Ch-. Like it, it was not... It's not necessarily phenomenal that way. They do still basically just go, here is a storyline bit. But... The puzzles are more related to the story and what's going on in the rooms. I agree with that, but I don't think that the puzzles tell you the story as much as no. You're, you're right. I y- think as I was saying it, I was realizing that doesn't tell you anything about them. They just give you a piece of paper hmm. that's like, "Old Man Stauff had a puzzle, and then he carved a child into a doll." Hmm. Yeah. So never mind. Uh, it's clear enough, but I like a lot of clarity because. You know, I like my puzzles to be puzzles. I like my stories to be stories. I don't like my stories to be puzzles. Though I would say, honestly, yeah, I think the VR one storyline was maybe clearer. How funny. This just sort of says stuff, and then you're like, okay, thanks, man. Uh, The order is more scattered in this one. Everything in Seventh Guest felt like it was being delivered to you in the right order. Yeah. They were less open in that, in Seventh Guest on VR, I think. Yes. Gave you a lot more suggestion about where you should go. Speak like, what is this side room? Do you see it? I understand, yeah. What is it doing there? I don't know. How did it get there? May have to go downstairs and come up somewhere? I didn't think, though. Maybe it's just a secret passage thing. Secret t- Oh, there's a side room in the room we're in. Oh, okay. That's curious. Just like this side room. I suppose we should take a look. What? Is that going to be another bathroom or something? I didn't see it. No, but we weren't looking for it. Oh, the map always takes you so far back. Save after every puzzle. Oh, that's a scary warning. All right, let's save. (laughs) I'd like you to save this as... Oh, all right. on earth would lead anyone to think that this game could glitch out and crash (laughs) we have full confidence in it I have confidence in seventh guest I have confidence in puppets ugh it looked like the door was over here, but I don't see no door. Unless it takes me back to this door. If I were a secret entrance, where would I be? No, no, no. Oh. Hello, what? Little door. Hello, little door. How did I get in here? I am Amelie. Huh. Raz. Stab. Oh, good. Stab, Raz. Stab, ass. Oh, there's a puzzle. Ooh, being back. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, hello. Hello. We said hello. That was obviously our saying hello to a dog voice because as soon as we said it, McFly ran out here and thought we were saying hello to something outside. But I guess not him. Yeah, that's our saying hello to an animal voice. Yeah. He thought there must have been like a bird or something on the balcony. He was like, oh, can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? Uh, yeah, the brain was on the right somewhere. The brain is on the right, but I can go forward into the box. Don't do it. It'll take you out. It'll so you're right. Probably link us to that secret room outside. Oh, maybe. Yob tech. That yob tech. That's all it takes. Oh, do we just have to do a perfect boggle? Can I pet that yob tech? <laughs> Can I pet that yob? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for saying it at the same time. <laughs> Can I pet that yob tech? <laughs> <laughs> Has everybody seen this video? If you haven't seen the video, please go find it. 
Go yeah, to YouTube says, and Google, can I pet that dog? It does say, uh, get boy Tad. Oh, get boy Tad. I don't know if that's what it wants us to rearrange. No, no, no. Another side flipper. Yeah. E. T. Yeah, it's exactly the well, same. Should be as easy as A, B, C. I guess. Wait. So this will go O. That becomes B. Becomes what? Look, it's a magic spell puzzle. It's a magic spell puzzle? Now, does it want us to be writing Get Boy Tad? Or he just said it's as easy as ABC. Does he want us to write A, B, C, D, E, F? Well, there's, well, there's just rotating them. It's yeah, not... okay, good. All right, then it's just uh, Get Boy Tad. How do we do this? Hold on, let's start I'm again. going to have to start again. Let's plan this out. So can you click stuff at the top the same way you could the last one? I can. So I can rotate. It's just yeah, another it's rotate. exactly the same as the last one. Except it doesn't actually rotate, not just flipping each one individually. Mm. So we want the E at the top. Yep. But we want the boy all in the middle. That's mm -hmm. silly. And we want the G at the top. Right? Yep. What's the best way to do this? Uh, rotate O out. Rotate boy around so we don't care about it for the moment. Okay, so I rotate boy around? Yep, just one. Then you can flip the middle. We'll deal with the Y again well, later. Should be as easy as A, B, C. And you want me to stick the E at the top? Yep. Look, it's a magic spell puzzle. You can't just say stuff, man. All right, that now says et bow. Great. It's my favorite type of bow. Look, put the G across and then up. Sure. This is bizarrely a lot more like a Rubik's Cube than anything else, mm. but it's hard to do a Rubik's I Cube like when looking at a lose, single screen. I want to lose the A. Okay. Can you move the A over there? So let's go these guys left. And the A should be in the bottom row. So this is pretty, I'm pretty happy with this. Get Dob Addy. All right, the hard part is that we've got all of Get in the right place now. Yeah. But we're definitely going to have to shove him around a little, but that's okay. What's the next plan? Uh, which letter do you want to focus on fixing? The D and the Y, it looks like. So. Sure. I'd probably uh, move the D over rather than the Y because that'll put it in the correct place. Okay, so you want to move the D across? Yeah. I used to have. Do you want to get confirmation like that the order is child. definitely get boy Tad? That's just what it was, now. but. What if it's like it's we we like boy we like Tad. Yeah. I would love, honestly, if okay order's correct. Thank Good. you. Just so, because we know what we're doing, and it's it was like with the Sphinx crypt curses in my crypt. Yeah, thing. that it was like, hurt. You know, well, like we thought we, got... we needed to close them all, but we needed to open them all, or whatever. Yeah, stuff like that. that it's like hurt. just knowing the final goal. We're right. Okay, so get Bedo Atty. We needed to get the D over. You want the D more. over? Yeah, because it's the D and the Y that both need to be shifted. Okay. I feel like these are in the wrong order right now. Like if the D, for example, went to this spot, we have it'd be backwards, and we wouldn't. We'd have to do another shift. What? That wouldn't be backwards. But what happened? It'd be T here, A here, and and D there. That's not backwards. Okay. It's these these two would be swapped. The whole word wouldn't be backwards. No, no. I'm saying, but like if we scrolled the T to the front, it would end up being wrong. Sure. But should we put the D down anyway? I'm not sure. Maybe we shouldn't. Why don't we get... Hmm. Um, the one who is saying things like, Oh, it's a magic word puzzle. I believe that's meant to be ego. Yeah, that's, that's me. His name's Ego? That's what they call him, man. All Ego? 
No, you can take over. I did the last puzzle. You do this one. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of clicking. It's tough. It's your turn to click. I'm getting out of the way. I don't remember Rubik's puzzle logic. You, you know it better than I. Yeah, it's just been a while. And you don't usually talk about it with one face. Hmm. Oh yeah, if you the the one that sounds like he's, you know, his own Vincent Price. That's stuff. All right, so clearly the get is going to end up scrambled, but maybe that's okay. Maybe instead, oh. <sighs> That one's bored. stuff. Okay, so let's just put these here because as far as we know, those first letters are all correct. And now it's just these four that are a little bit mixed up. I feel like that makes me more comfortable because, yeah, they're correct row and correct order. But what is going to be the best way to fix this? Come on, Rubik's Cubes. I'm having trouble visualizing it. Hmm. I, I, might end salted up, I might end up doing a full scramble. I got some salted caramel cashew nuts now. Just put all the letters where they go. Alright, I'm I'm gonna ruin it. Yeah, yeah, go mess with it. You gotta mess with it. Can't unscramble an egg without cracking a few omelets. Bell. Oh, there are two T's. I haven't even been thinking about that. Yeah, Tiggy Bell Tidy. That's There's two T's. Interesting. That makes it ideally easier than a Rubik's Cube. Which is good because I've forgotten most of my Rubik's Cube mnemonics. Which were not very good mnemonics. You must be a trivial pursuit card. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you scramble around. You don't even talk about it now, right? You don't have to. You don't have to narrate, but you'd have to listen. I'm doing a triple pursuit card. Here we go. Yeah, <coughs> bow toy. What? This is the blue for people and places slash geography. What were the rooms in Austria's Das Park Hotel originally? Were they drain pipes, grain silos? Or zoo cages? I've heard this one before and never remember. Do you turn a zoo into a hotel? Do you turn a sewer into a hotel? Or do you turn grain silos into a hotel? It is called Dust Park. That sounds animal. It sounds self, animal. It? I'm going. I'm going. I'm going zoo. Yeah, sure. Ah, drain pipes. Park much is the German for drain. It is? No. Good. Which two colours, this is in uh, pink, which is entertainment, which two colours are mentioned in the song I Can Sing a Rainbow that aren't official colours of the rainbow? Okay. Now, I don't know colours of the rainbow. Oh. This, oh, I can sing. No, sorry. I know the colours of the rainbow. That's Roy Gabiff. Uh, I don't know... Really? The song I Can Sing a Rainbow. It's I didn't know that. Yeah. You don't know? I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow. I don't know. I want to say they say purple in that. They do not. Well, then what are the colours? Red and, and... Oh, no, they do say purple. Sorry. Oh, well, now who doesn't know? I had one in my mind and you weren't saying it. It's red and yellow and pink and green, purple pink. and orange and blue. So pink and purple? Yeah. How funny! I Pink or purple? I, I thought that this was a thing that everyone knew. I thought it was universal. I got a little puppy. We're on to yellow. Yellow being... Uh-oh. Got that bad. I'm making it worse. Eat boy. 
Eat boy. <laughs> Come over here and eat the boy. <laughs> uh, this is in Yellow History. According to Aristotle, where is the seat of intelligence? I want to say this is one of those classic things where, like, do you know in ancient Greece they thought that the heart was where intelligence sat and the brain was just mush that was taking up space in your big old noggin? Could have been. Or it could be like, the stomach and he's making a point. Maybe. But I think it's the heart. It's the heart. It's the heart. Oops. Eat boo. Wasn't the one that Eat I wanted to swap, boy. but I guess we're eating boo. Eat boy. Tea. Now it's good. Purple. Oh, Danny, you know this one. I do? Yeah, you do. Everybody right. does. But you know what? Everyone here, every, we have, uh, however many viewers we have, all of you know this current fact. Ready? Purple. Arts and Lit. Who is the obsessed one-legged captain of the Pequod? I don't actually think everybody needs to know that. Or does. But I knew it. Who's the... And Danny knows it. Who's the obsessed one-legged captain of the Pequod? Ahab. Ahab. Moby. The Moby Dick guy. I'll, ta I'll accept the Moby Dick guy. I will not accept Pequod. <laughs> oh, good jokes in the chat They're all from Karamoya <laughs> I signed up for the Moby Dick mailing list Like call me Ishmael Alright Green for <laughs> science and nature What does a gelatologist study? Just the word gel G-E-L Autologist Good question This is upsetting Get boy dot Whoa dog <sighs> Awfully close. Oh, but the tad's backwards? Yeah. Tad. Get, it can't just be get that boy. Get that boy. <laughs> hey, you, get that boy. <sighs> we got to get that boy. All right. This is the f opening sentence. It's get boy dat. And then the next door is should be doll. And then the next door is because I want. Next door is to eat him. <laughs> get boy dat. <laughs> Get that boy. How am I going to do this? Uh, hey, Gigglers. Gigglers is correct. Good work, Gigglo. It is Giggles? laughter. Oh laughter my God. is a gelatologist. I have no idea. Good work on Gigglers. Can I get that boy? And the last question. How many years does a sesquicentennial celebrate? 150. Uh, the answer is none. People celebrate a sesquicentennial. It doesn't celebrate anything. <laughs> 150 is correct. Oh, man. I found some salted caramel cashews. Why did I move them to the top? They're great. They're great, everybody. If you ever want to eat salted caramel flavoured cashew nuts, do. Even the dog wants them. Yet got bad. Yet but bad. Have you seen this dog jumping? It's some jumping. No, why did I do that? That was silly. Let's put you back. Let's scroll you up. I've got both T's on that side, which isn't the worst thing in the world. One more? I've returned. I went the wrong way. It's going to be backwards again. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Mm. It's going to be not quite backwards. I think it's going to be backwards. Those two are going to be backwards. Those two have to swap. But I've got this other T that I'm hoping I can play with. Can I, can I suggest what happens if you put the middle row up one, move the bottom row like twice, and then put it down again like to get the T and the A flipped. Then the top one's going to move. Oh, the top one is going to move. I don't know how to do this. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Because this can reassess which is the TA because you have an AT. This is fun. Is this it? Have you done it? <laughs> I think Normally I can tell whether to move up or down. Get Boy Todd. There we go. You needed the t Dad. I needed the T's near each other for flexibility. You get Gay Bud Tat. <laughs> That's not this. Tad. That old man sounds I just like a baby. When they were screaming for help. Mm. Not a big fan of baby I noises. Can play it again. Please don't. Let's go into this box. Yep. Take me. Secret slide. Box. See you Whee! later, everybody. Oh, we don't even get to watch ourselves slide. Oh, it's just back to the hint room. Oh, that can't be Tad crying. It must be one of the other ones. Oh. Net crack. Yeah, we've got to change our pillows. I don't think they're doing well. Save after ever. Yikes. Let's have a look. So, in terms of places we have been and places we hadn't been. Oh. We've got to do the music room. Yep. And that one, which we still have to find. Then here we've done... Everything but the hallway, though apparently there isn't a hallway. And don't I don't know if we can go hallway. up this like, Don't this think we can go here. up those stairs yet. Okay, so... Really, we need to find the spare room. No, let's do the music room again. Unless, you know what? I don't want to do the music room, so if anyone knows how to get into that secret room, uh, let us know. Do we have to go back through the maze? <laughs> oh, is this the thing that we thought was available earlier that wasn't? Hmm? You mentioned that there was a secret thing on the bottom of the stairs oh. and we tried that and it didn't work because we hadn't unlocked it yet. I'll happily go check that out. Anything to avoid doing that music puzzle again. Which was going great. It's just tedious. Yep, it's the bottom of the stairs thing. Alright, I turn. And now, having turned, I turn again. And instead of clicking up here, there's a little hey, chattering tea. Hey, we got chattering tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh. That wasn't what I expected to be on the floor. A maelstrom. Ah! Oh, hey, Steph. Oh. Lovely. I've seen this room before. I've seen this I room before. I know what this is. Strange paintings. Yeah, man. Sick. Strange paintings. Sick. Hmm. Is this just the end of them saying the same thing? I don't know. Ah! The paintings turned into a... Oh, no! The horse is on fire! Oh, no! Okay. Hello. I'll just take a smoke. Oh, it's his hand. <laughs> oh, and it came out of that guy. Ah, fun. Very edgy, mate. Mm. Ah. Oh, I don't like the boy. If you think my eyes are big, yeah, you should see my teeth. Pretty big. Honestly, I didn't think your eyes were that big, man. You have some insecurities you have to deal with. And this little puppy wants you to pat him. That Are you been much worse? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> oh. Hey, that's the music room. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Mm. I know you. Ah. Hey, Steph. If you oh, think no. my eyes are big. All the king's horses and all no. the king's No men. king's horses. It looked it familiar, that picture, didn't it? Hey, I've seen the v the version of this picture with it with this with it, which turns into a demon face. Cool. They have that in the VR version. Oh, is this the same? 
All right. So now the question. Yeah. Do we what want do we his want? normal face or his green face? Like, come on, man. Oh, look at his green face. Maybe we want him to look normal. Please. This is one of these cases where I would love a hint. Goal is normal. Goal is normal. Thank Good, you. Good. I feel like we're almost there. Well, this would make that go green and this go red. Oh, it's surroundies this time. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be surroundies. Well, surroundies are tough. Oh, I didn't know it would touch the middle of his face. Okay, diagonal normal, counts. Good normal, to know. Green, red. Oh. Surroundies is tough. At least it's a small surroundies. Let me hit this one. Oh, this doesn't do the 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 diagonals. This just okay. It's the same rule. It's the same associations, I think, as. The coffins. Okay. But the middle does all, and the corners do all around them, but the sides just do up and down or left and right. Middle doesn't do diagonal, does it? No. The middle should do mm. top, bottom, left, right. Cool. So Staff has an ego, too. Hmm. What are you... But somehow I get the impression he's not quite all there. <laughs> somehow? Done. All right. Looks normal to me. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Stoff's falling apart, and I'm putting him back together again. Well, thank you for telling me the goal. You got this last time, so I'm trusting you to get it again. I'm taking a nap. It's a good plan, isn't it? Trivial Pursuit card! Danny, can you pass me a Trivial Pursuit card while you click on Stout's face? This is a good time for them, I must say. Hey everybody, I have a question for you, playing along at home. Which is, how many letters are in the Hawaiian alphabet? Is it 12, 17, or 28? Now, I know that Hawaii has a small alphabet. So it's not 28. I want to say they are... Syllabograms, possibly? Yeah, I don't think they're syllabograms. You don't think they're syllabograms? No. I'm going on the basis this of the Tom Scott the video but that talks about Merry Christmas state than ever. in Hawaiian is like Meli Kalakamaki. Yeah. Because they didn't have an S and they didn't have a R. It's not that they're syll... Yeah, but it's... Know. It's not that they're syllable grams. It's just that they don't like combining syllables with like consonants I and other consonants. I thought they had syllable grams, but maybe I'm wrong. Do you reckon it's twelve or seventeen? Uh, I would have uh, been subversive and said a secret twenty-eight. We just don't get to hear about the others. Maybe it, if it's syllable grams, it could be twenty-eight. It's twelve. Okay. Twelve letters. Everything affects this one. That is interesting. Everything affects the middle. Okay. 
From what country did Angelina Jolie adopt son Pax Thien in 2007? Oh. I just looked, so I can't think. I don't Which know why. Which one did. is that? Which one is Pax? Pax isn't the Cambodian one, right? Correct. It is? No, no, it's not Cambodian. No. Oh, correct. good. Yeah, good. Uh, Ethiopia? No, Damn. there was an Ethiopian. Ah. And there was a Cambodian. Pax is Vietnamese. Yeah. Shiloh was Cambodian, right? Maybe? Uh, maybe. I don't know. All right. What cult was led by Jim Jones, who forced hundreds to commit mass suicide in We're Jonestown, Guyana? By the time you solve this. Um, I'm not good at remembering the names of them. It's just something weird, like the free happy people. It's, yeah. Yeah, Heaven's Gate. That's Heaven's the name Gate. of one of them. They're not Heaven's Gate. You yeah. Is it the free idiot. happy people? Uh, no, it's People's Temple. Oh, the okay. problem with that is everyone just thinks everyone just calls it Jonestown. Yeah, like it's like what group is it? The Jonestown. Mm -hmm. It's the Jonestown group. If I click this, it'll be half half. <laughs> uh, writer Lewis Carroll coined what term meaning to chuckle and snort at the same time? Great. We know this. Yep. So close. So close. You can have a little You're bit of green on your dead chin. By the time you solve this, you solve this. Chortle Wait, did is coronal. Did that one not swap? No, it doesn't swap. The left one seems to just press top and bottom. Weirdly. Has that always been true? I guess so. Wait. Oh. Okay, well, I should have used that. I thought that everything affected the middle one. Nope. Right. Do the bottoms affect the middle ones? No. They just do left and right. It's only the corners in the How middle. How did that I do this middle. so wrong? Okay. Well, um after which Croatian born scientist is the unit measuring magnetic fields named? Who's a Croatian magnetic scientist? Was Tesla secretly Croatian? Could have been. Well, yeah, okay. That makes sense. I thought he was Serbian or something. No, nope, it's Tesla. Oh, sweet. He, maybe he was Serbian. He was Croatian born and mm. then he moved to Serbia. Maybe those country borders didn't exist. Yeah. This has been so long since we've done the coffins, we forgot the exact rules. We'll all be dead by the time you solve this. The way he says solve is great. I'm a big fan of solve this. Who did Leighton Hewitt beat to claim his first Grand Slam singles title in the 2001 US Open? Sampras? Oh uh, yeah, Pete Sampras. Congratulations. I remember, his, I remember his sad face. Are you happy to still be clicking or do you want to... My hand is getting sore just from this angle of pressing against the desk. Ah. Solve. Yeah, I'm not thinking very hard. That clears those, greens those. I could hit you, which would clear you, red you, and red you, and green. No, and not touch you. Anyone watching the Australian Open? I don't know how easy it is to access for you, but... Oh, I'll boy. Be dead by the time you solve this. White, a match last night. Yeah, we should change what the uh, bit awards are. Come up with something new. They've been this way for a while. So that'll green all of this, which I don't want to do. I could green you guys. And then clear you and green you and then you would clear red green you would mm, 
clear, red, green, clear. Green, red, <laughs> clear, clear. You'll clear, red that and green you. You'll green you, green you, red you and clear you. Then I can clear you and just get red at the top. And then this gets me red. We'll all be dead by the time you solve this. This gets me red but greens you. I just did one of these puzzles in the DLC for Dragon Age 2, which I had never played before. And I got sick of it and ended up walkthroughing it because I just got bored. And if we ignore his chin, we're done. I oh, know we're not done. I know that my fundamental failure is a desire to clear them all. Mm. I feel like I need to have a desire to add some. Mm. But my constant thought of like, I'm going to clear them, is what is, uh, kills me. Yeah, it's always the way. And I know this to be true, but I don't allow it to affect my my goals. But there are several second last moves. There are too many possibilities. I mean, the second last move would be all of this cross many. being green. That's vaguely what I have That's in my head. That's the last move, wouldn't it? No, then the last move would be click the center. Oh, okay. So what, the so, result of okay, the Okay, so then what is the be. what is the move before that? What gets yeah, this green? Yeah, I think there's too many options for this. Like, why do you think that that's going to be the last one? Why not just one whole side being green? I'm picking a random arbitrary yeah. side one. Like, I don't one. know if that's a All thing right, that humans well, can do. Then let's leave. What? I'm saying visualizing it working backwards is an impossible thing. Not that it's an impossible puzzle. Okay, well then I guess I'm just going to click yeah, randomly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think this will ever help. Be dead by the time you solve I think Stout's right if we just click randomly. Okay. Worked for the coffins. Okay, then keep clicking randomly. You did the coffins. I tried. My hand was hurting. All right. Well, I won't think. I'll just click. Mm hmm. How do you think Eden is going to go on Survivor? People listen to uh, the podcast Cancelled Movie Report. Eden, one of the hosts of that, he's on Australian Survivor, which starts in two days. I am extremely excited. We'll all be dead by the time you solve this. Is this true? We are all ghosts. You shouldn't be saying this. So 
too close. Tips from the walkthrough. I do not mind. And I feel like I've done a lot of this exact puzzle in recent times, so I'm not that invested in the sense of achievement of having solved it. I mean, I want to just go back and get the game to finish this for us. I feel like we already did it. I don't think we've learned our lesson. I don't like, unless we want to actually try and sit and come up with a way to get better at these, I don't think we're doing that. So I'd rather just have the game just finish it. Alright, I'll do. I'll look up a walkthrough then. Okay. Yeah. Either I would say look up a walkthrough or we should try and actually think it through. We'll all be dead by the time you solve this. We also th saying in chat that they've found a walkthrough that has Rubik's Cube style tips for changing a single tile. Well, look, that's cool. I made him all red, which means I've solved it just for the wrong finale. I've done it in the wrong final form, but I have solved it. I made him a perfect demon, and in my eyes, that's true success. Wait, no, this will give him the wrong middle. And now I've solved it, but I've given him his trademark okay. green nose. Hang on. We have in the chat a, a thing about how to fix the center without affecting anything else. <sighs> Sorry. All right, well, this solver appears to be broken. I'm going to read this thing here. Oh, wait, no, separated by commas. I'm going to read this thing here. Uh huh. To fix the center cell without affecting others, click on a corner cell twice, followed by the opposite corner twice. You could also click on the four corners instead. Then click on the center cell. My God, what is this thing doing? Well, let's let's fix the center. Let's let's try this. I'm gonna go click on the corner cell twice. Although I don't know if twice is correct here. We'll all be but I'm dead just gonna follow this exactly. Don't worry. This. And then the opposite corner twice. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm. Um, hold on. Then click on the center cell. Yeah, that's not right. That did not change the thing without affecting anything well. Do you then have to press the... No? Huh. Hey, that felt like it was wrong. Yeah, like I typed in uh, everything is normal except one green and it gave me a ridiculously long walkthrough. Oh my god, these are just ridiculous. Let me try putting in another one. I'll see if we can get it. Okay, so we got red, green, normal. Oh, nope, okay, you're swapping them. I'm just going to keep doing what we did and yeah, see if Yeah, I'm cycles. trying to type it into a walkthrough. Oh, okay. 
normal, 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 red. I can't tell if that's, oh, that's slightly shorter, but still pretty long. Uh, is that correct then? Do we want to? I have no idea. Okay, number seven. Uh, how does that one, two, three, four, yeah. six, seven? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just going to follow down these things. Seven. Let's find out. Eight. Oh, hold on. We'll all be dead by the time you solve this. Eight. Then three. Three. Nine. Nine. Six. Six. Five. Five. Eight. Eight. One. One. Nine. Nine. <clears throat> Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Three. Three. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Six. This is so long. Five. Five. Eight. Eight. I'm at the point where I can see all of the remaining moves on the one screen. Beautiful. One. One. Nine. Nine. Six. Six. Three. Three. <laughs> Two. Two. Seven. Seven. <laughs> this better work. One. One. I don't trust this. Four. Four. Five. Five, you sure? All right. I'm reading it. Two. Two. We'll all be dead by the time you solve this. turns this whole face. Nine. Red. Nine. One. One. Not that many more to go. Four. Four. Okay. Three. Three. Two. Two. I hope I haven't got any of these wrong, by the way. Seven. Seven. <laughs> One. One. Four. <laughs> Four. <laughs> this is the most optimal way. Five. Five? <laughs> this website did not promise most optimal. Two. Nine. One. <gasps> Four. We did it! We <laughs> did it. Through our own it. skill. Again. Through our own skill. Yeah, 90s game designers were the weird kind of sadists. I would say this is the thing for me that is like a fundamental thing. And, and we get this sometimes when we hang out with like escape room people or puzzle people is I really like puzzles in the escape room context. I really like like the logic puzzles and figuring out. I like Sudokus, but I often don't like just like a puzzle puzzle. Like when someone's like, here's a little object. And like, I, there is nothing that interests me less than those puzzles where it's like, here is a ring in a metal thing and you've got to make the ring come out of the metal thing. You know, that sort of stuff. Yeah. There's a certain world of puzzles, and I think they're sort distractors. of like, yeah, I think like the flippy puzzles and slide puzzles and Rubik's Cube stuff, it just doesn't interest me that much. And I'm also not good at it, and I don't know whether it's... Where do you stand on slide puzzles? 
No, they're not. I don't care about a slide puzzle. Uh, like, I never think like, oh yeah, I feel good. Like if I solve a slide puzzle, I don't even feel like, yes, I solved the slide puzzle. Oh, like, really? Right, sweet. All okay. right, I guess I'm done. I don't mind them as much as you. Because I don't. Because I feel like most of them I didn't really think my way through. I just went, I'll just get there eventually. I'll process my way through it. It's a certain different type of puzzle. Uh, Dromon, thank you for that recommendation. There is one significant problem with that, and uh, that's that I'm really creeped out by claymation. Yeah, Danny hates claymation. If you <laughs> Always clay happen. If you claymate anything, Danny will break it. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit of uh, water or panadol or something. My head's I'm not so going well. I'm so sorry. Up. Yeah, it's just my, my neck. So I'm just trying to find our way out of this room. Uh, I think we're done. Can you maybe go through the picture that takes us to the game room. Hey, Steph. Hey, Steph. There it is. Look, I understand there can be good claymation. I've watched claymation. Chicken Run is claymation, isn't it? That's fine. But it creeps me out. Chicken Run might be the best example of uh, ones that I'm cool with. You can also you can also extend this to like any kind of stop motion. Like little puppet stop motion Danny mm -hmm. doesn't like either. If I ever stop and then move a little bit and then stop and then move a little bit, Danny freaks out. I'm some sort of T Rex. Man, you really gotta push it to circle him round. Um What am I trying to do now? Is that all the rooms except for the music room? Yeah. Oh dear. Alright. <laughs> Did the picture not take us to the music room? <coughs> yeah, did the picture not take us to the music room? I was I was very zoned out. You just take us to the music room and then Flushed leave? away. Ain't seen it. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, Wallace and Gromit. It wasn't, a, it wasn't part of my childhood. I don't think I really got it. Maybe I'd appreciate it more as an adult. <coughs> it's great. Unless you want to wear the right trousers, in which case, <laughs> don't, don't watch Wells and Gromit. Nine, one, four, seven, five, four. Oh, yeah, three. Danny, you hate Pingu? Danny did hate Pingu. I didn't Pingu. like Pingu. Didn't like the Pingu, gibberish. Pingu. Yeah, was, Danny also hates gibberish. I was not a gibberish kid. I'm not a gibberish grown up. All right. Oh. A sore neck is giving me a headache, but that headache will power me through. I watched Gumby as a child, but I assume that's what did it. Oh, I'm duh. taking off my headphones. I can't do this. Bah. Bah. Let's come up with lyrics as we go. Stauf is the... Stauf is... The Grey. I remember when I used to play Follow the Leader. Stauf is the Grey Test. Oh, I was hoping you weren't going to go there. Stauf is the greatest. Of. That tune seems familiar. I feel like there's I other music it. playing in the background. <laughs> no, is the there? The greatest of them. It's fine. Stauf is the greatest of them. Stauf is the greatest of them all. Artistic offerings. I can do that. I can draw a thing. Of them all. Is there a pattern to this? Stauf is the greatest of them all. No. Alright. Mm. What should I draw? 
What do you want from me? McFly? <laughs> uh, not well. But let's find out. Flies colorings. Where is he white and where is he brown? <laughs> to add like two notes at a time, Stav. How much they're trying to treat as soon as you're like, oh, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. They really want you to leave. That was fine. Was that the last one? Where is McFly? I saw Danny post this little, had a little picture. I thought, oh, I'll just start thinking about when to move aside. And then I get it wrong because I wasn't thinking. I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about this cute picture of a dog. Why did we just get an alert that says, welcome to the chat room? I don't know. Unconnect us for some reason out of sadness. <laughs> All right, to the book. Uh, we can post uh, we can post this picture on Discord. Sure. I don't know how. Uh, it's an iPad with Procreate on it. <sighs> I 
What is, what's the plan? Do we do it Dun. again? I mean, we have no choice. It's the last thing in the game. All right, Danny, you talk to the audience so I don't have to pay attention. Oh, sure. Um, I'll get a sporkle quiz on my phone that I need to do. Ooh, ooh, uh, you can help me study. The Australian uh, quizzing championships are on soon, and I've just been told what categories they'll be, and uh, most of them are things that I am not good at. So let's take a look. Arts? Okay. Literature? Okay. Religion and philosophy? I got nothing. I need to learn about religion and philosophy at a trivia level. Where do I do that? Does anyone know a good quiz? Um, philosophy quiz sporkle. <clears throat> Spokle? Whatever. Okay, world's 100th greatest philosophers. Can you name them? Absolutely not. That's, I, I need more detail than that. Hmm. Intellectual history figure match. I certainly won't be any good at that. Philosopher match. Let's look at philosopher match. See what I can do with that. Can you pick the last, oh, last names of these famous philosophers? That's not fun. Come on. Know about religion-y stuff? Yeah, I don't know anything about religion either. <sighs> okay. Major religions that exist. Christianity. Islam. Hinduism. Buddhism. Sikhism. Shintoism. Zoroastrianism. And I think I'm out of religions. Religion is not my strong suit. And if you ask me anything specific about them, I my uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go great. Baha'i. Mm. Jainism, that's a good point. What could they ask about Jainism, do you reckon? Besides diet? Jainism is the one with strict diet, yeah? can't answer that um yeah they often ask about like figures in the mythology which usually leads me to go Zoroastrianism or Hindu Hinduism but yeah. what are the what's the proper name of Roman and Greek pantheisms what oh no should look up. I should look up uh, which Hindu god is which. I don't know what each of them stand for. Hindu gods. Sure, I'll just look up a list for now. Learn about Hindu gods and goddesses. Lotus scripture. Shiva the destroyer. Yes, I've heard about that. Ganesh, remover of obstacles. Okay. Vishnu. Heard of Vishnu. Nataraja, I don't know. Krishna, I've heard of. Pavadi, maybe. Hanuman, Lakshmi. Saraswati, Durga, Brahma, Kali, Hurugan, Shakti. Shakti, I've heard of from Charmed. Oh my god, there was just a quiz uh, where that I did where one of the questions was about an ancient, like, ancient astronomer woman, and I went. Oh no, it's going to be the one from The Good Place played by Lisa Kudrow. I can only remember they called her Patty. Her name was not Patty. And I couldn't remember what her name was. That was very upsetting. And it's just easy if you remember the comic Digger. I don't know the comic Digger at all. And yeah, The Good Place accidentally learned some philosophy. They seem to like Kant. And I already know Spa, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle. Patanjali, father of yoga. Not familiar with that one. Alright, alright. Let's look up one that I am less familiar with. 
Let's look up Brahma, because I feel like Brahma is important. Gave his name to a decent amount. Brahma's like the creator. I feel like everyone is an aspect of Brahma. Yes, this makes a lot of sense. I should know this. A wombat who accidentally channels into a magical world. Solid. And somehow Ganesh is involved. Ganesh I mainly know from The Simpsons. Okay. Brahma is the creator within the Trimurti, the trinity of supreme divinity that includes Vishnu and Shiva. Okay. Associated with creation, knowledge, and the Vedas. Lots of creation legends. He created himself in a golden embryo known as the Hiranyagaba. Sorry about my pronunciation, I'm sure it's rubbish. I have never looked into Hindi pronunciations. Favorite book used a lot of Hindu gods as characters. That's how you learn. That's great. Oh, fuck you. <gasps> Swearing at the piano. Let's look at the literature. See if there are any weird things that Brahma was so you to have done. To you did it! Okay, day. no more Brahma learning, we're done. Stealth! Alright. Woo! Do we get a cutscene? No! Thank you. I hate pianos. Stop struggling! Stop struggling, or I'll squeeze you till you pop! You're a weird guy, man. He's we figured out what to do. The boy is ours! No! The boy's mine! I won! I solved the puzzle! Oh, take him now! Get away! Wow, he pulled that out of nowhere. Well, give us the boy, Duffin. We know what to do with him. Wait! <laughs> Who's gonna die? Who's gonna die? Big guy, small guy. Big guy, small guy. Who's gonna die? The knife. Small guy. All right, he's dead. Come on, man. Stop, stop. He's already dead. Okay. Another one down. Rock about enough. Boy, should have run. <laughs> but bring a knife to a yelling fight. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. See where we go next. Good job. Probably want to save. All right. Save. Save. Rachmaninoff. Is he a double F? I thought it was a V. He might have been a V. It's probably both, depending on how mm. you write it. Okay. Where the heck we go in now? I ask you. I still don't know our way outside. Oh, no, we did that. We did that. That's right. Yeah. Let's do the stair tooth. Red, 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 red. All red. Up. Red, 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 red. Eee, they colored in the staircase. Attic time. Attic time. Farewell. Return. To the attic. Off we go to finish seventh guest or not to finish seventh guest. Who knows? I go left. I go forward. I am 
enjoy the music. It's so simple. Downed up. A Down. puzzle in the attic with a really neat mechanic, but no one understands and just brute forces instead. How right. interesting. Tell us when we find that puzzle and we'll figure <laughs> it out through our cool... I would hope that we'd try now, to figure it I will out, say, not brute force it. There was but... another one that was about like things dropping that we never figured out. So Yeah, good point. If we stab all these knives into the head of the demon and knock the door, a knife comes out. Is this a puzzle? Is this a puzzle? No. Say what? Hey, we... Hey, we can't click on anything. Oh. oh. One of... Okay, two of these... Two of these knives are clickable? Okay, why those two? What do they have in... Is it a leaping puzzle? Oh, this will have to leap to there or this can leap to there. All right. Okay. And we want to remove all the knives. Sure, okay. well, it shouldn't matter which one you start with. Because it's just symmetrical. One. Oh, yeah. It leaps out and back <laughs> in, and then this leaps out. Far out, dudes. Right. To get this guy out, we're going to have to leap one of these dudes. Uh, yeah. To let it out eventually. Yep. So, shall we do that now? Sure. Anyone a Neopets person who played Poogle Solitaire? I know that this is a very uh, normal game, but Poogle Solitaire was how I was introduced to it. Ever have the game as a kid called Kaplunk? Kaplunk? Not as a kid. Yes, now. We have Kaplunk. Kaplunk's great. So, do we want to plan this forward or just start doing some jumps? Um, theoretically, we should plan it forward. I know that I'm not very good at it. <laughs> is the problem. If we... So, let's say we jump you, right? Yeah. To this empty space over here. Yep. Then that you'll disappear. This could jump out. Mm. This could jump over. But then this one would kind of be stuck. No, it wouldn't. Why wouldn't I? I don't think so. I, give it a shot. Okay. Uh, do I get to choose? Which way should I go now? Which way should I go now? I'm feeling lonely. So we'll jump this to here. Yeah, do what you said. All right. That kills... Oh, that top one is still there. Yeah. Forgot about the top one. If I jump this guy down... Then I jump the... this. Then the top comes down... Then this jumps up, and this oh oh. I'm not uh, not sure. Just try it, see what happens. All right, you. Which way should I go now? Which way should I go now? Jumps to here. Sure. Now, if I drop jump the top to here, then. Definitely don't want to jump you. Let's jump the top. Cool. I think it's going to fail. Agreed. But that's okay. God, it's so flourishy. Because, yeah, we're going to have these two with one space yeah. between. Unless... Drop you. No, then I'm stuck. Jump you. Yeah, I think I think this is dead. Okay, you can restart. I'm going to have to start again. Watch them all flourish. Okay. Well, we're still going to start with one of these and it doesn't matter which yep. one. Yep. What do you want to do next? Jump this guy out? Sure. Just get rid of as many corners as possible. Yeah, let's get rid of some corners. Jump this guy out? Oh, I was not picturing that guy. But sure. Or we could jump this guy yeah, out. Yeah, I was picturing okay, that guy. Okay, let's do that. And get both of them out. Yeah, we can still get the other corner out. Sure. Are we dead? And then we're going to end up with two again. Yeah, I think we got to plan this out smarter. Yeah, I just wanted to see what happened if we focused on corners. Yeah, fair. The answer is failure! Oh, I, no, I forgot about the top one again. How does this keep happening? Yeah, okay. Stop forgetting about the top one. I just can't see it very well. Uh, you can tell where it is because it's a big knife. And now we die. I'm going to have to start again. Okay, cool. I thought staff would mock us. 
You don't even know how to pull a knife out of a head. All right. We do that. Now, we have to pick a corner. So it perhaps matters which one, but there are only two choices. Yep, uh, beside the top or... Well, I suppose you're different. Oh, I see. Oh, yes, well, this or that. Mm. Let's go this one. Sure. All right, now we have four choices, moving a corner. If we move this corner, mm -hmm. then the top one can get out. And maybe that's a good idea since I keep forgetting about it. Which way should I go now? Let's put it down so that the top one can get out. Sure. Just can't look too hard at this thing. I don't know what it is. It's a little bit eldritch. Oh, I think I see it. We drop this one up. And then this this knife oh, nice. is going to just get collect them all. It's going to jump across. Then it's going to jump down. Then it's going to jump up. And it's going to collect all the other knives. Cool. The only worry is if uh, it hasn't told us that it wants the last knife to be somewhere. Oh, yeah. And if that's true, then I say we just uh, destroy the game in a terrible fire. Great move. Great move. Hey, great move. Wow, what a great move. That knocker is so much smaller than you would think. And it has a lot more power than a knocker usually does. Yeah. They're not called lockers. They're called knockers. Disgusting. <laughs> Up some stairs. <laughs> my staff impression nice and smooth stair encounter i feel like Feeling. i'm sliding down the slide in blackmore manor those scissors are interesting apparently they're not it's a little hotel all right i guess we look at this tower music got intense this must be end game okay we've got windows that remind me of play school This is trickier than it looks. Doesn't look like anything. Okay, I can start from any bottom area. Okay, bottom floor we start with. And I have to work my way up. This is the whack puzzle. All right, let's see if we can figure out. I see why it looks brute forcible if you're just going up the tower. Well, look, my first thought is we take a window to a window of same type. So mm. I'm just going to start by clicking this window. Sure. I could move left or right. I could move up. Mm -hmm. When I moved up, it also lit that one. And now I, I can't. I could go. I can't go up from this one for some reason. Hmm. If I go to this square, I will be traveling to a big rectangle window next to one of these. Will it light that one up like it did this one, or will it like? Mm. It just went up again. I am mostly curious about Did what they happens. Did call you Nancy because you answer too many questions? Oh, thank, thank you so you. much. Oh, Did that's lovely of you. Thank you gift for gifting that. Because you gifting so many giftums. Oh, I think someone's describing the mechanic. I would hope. I'd, right, I'm let's not, not reading. Okay, so I want to know what happens next when you click another one. Weirdly, I can't go left or right, mm. but I could. Sorry, I can't go up or right, but I could go left. This is trickier than... And then that's works. death. Okay. Huh. I'm going to click this again. I'm going to go left. For some reason, I'm allowed to go left. But this does not light anything else up. I could go up. Will that light up this semicircle? No. What? What is the mechanic of this game That's that no one can figure out? That's not what I expected to happen. From here, I can only move down? Oh, that's not good. This is trickier than it looks. Okay. What, each of the windows must mean something else. When I went from four square up to four square, it pushed me one space up. Mm. When I went four square to, to tall arch... To four square, it pushed me two spaces left. Mm. Why is that? 
my uh, wonderance, I don't know, I don't understand the leftness at all. Like, my worry is after what I was trying to read about that church floor, pu floor puzzle, that it's not about what you're clicking on, it's what you what clicked you on at some point on. in the past. Yeah, that's fair, because that weird dropping one was like that, as you said. Um, let's see, let's see first of all if there's any sort of randomness to it. Square, square, they light this up. I go square, it takes me to this. I go I left. I hope there's no randomness to it. Hey, I'm just I'm just getting rid of possibilities. <laughs> These are the same. What if I started from this circle and I went left and then I went up? That's a good point. It's we should just at the bottom of the screen this have our no spoilers oh, text. What the heck was this? Okay, what look at happened? this. I started from this circle here, yeah. right? Then I went left. Yeah. And now it's like, okay, let's say I'm starting from here. Uh -huh. I went up, yeah. it did do this light window. Yeah. When I would go right, it doesn't this go. Is tricky it just kills me early. That's interesting. So what's up with that? But it lit up for a second. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Before it was one, two, three, four, five, six, and it killed me at six. Does it always kill you after six? How the hell do you work this stuff out? Uh, a tier one sub, oh, look, I'm not good at Twitch, but basically you have the, the basic level of sub, which means I think you don't get ads anymore and I get money. I get money, you get no ads. I don't think there's anything special for higher tiers. Start with the simple ones. That did nothing. Let's go with this. Oh, that went right. This is so strange. But it's not. This is trickier than it looks. This is very hard to interpret. This is trickier than it looks. What is this? <laughs> hmm. No, no, if we get bored of it and or, or just too confused and desperately need the answer, we'll scroll up, don't worry. Hmm. You are basic. Whoa! Which one did you click then? I started here and then went up our normal path, and when I got to here, it lit all this up. Oh, okay, so that's interesting because it's following the same pathway. It's like the pathway is inherent, but it went three steps. And what happened last time, we went uh, square thingy here and it lit up like two spaces mm. so it's trying to follow a path this is so strange yeah I, look if you're thinking about where to give money if you are on Twitch especially if you have a Prime if you're subscribed to Amazon Prime and you have like a free subscription to give away sub here but if you're thinking I really really want to support Bill and Danny Patreon's a better place to support us than Twitch um, Twitch is great Especially if you're giving, if you're putting bits, if you're cheering bits and things like that, that's great. But yeah, uh, Twitch takes a lot of money from this. This is more about us hanging out with people, enjoying it. So we, while we definitely appreciate the subscriptions, um, Patreon is, is a better place to subscribe. Um, but Twitch is a place you certainly to, get more rewards out of yeah, it. Yeah, you get much more out of it as well. A five dollar donation on Twitch gets us two dollars fifty and you no ads to watch. A five dollar sub on Patreon gets us like. Four dollars fifty, and you, two thousand hours worth of bonus audio content. They're gonna ban us from Twitch for this. If I could, if I could stream not on Twitch in a place that was like powered by Patreon, um, I would do that. But can we stream on the Discord? Can you live stream through Discord? I don't know. So we have no choice but to try this way. This is true. But that still kills us. But then some people will just discover us through Twitch. Twitch has good discoverability. Now I can't go up that way. Compared to our own enclosed Patreon. So it's up to, it's, works. you know, yeah. So like Twitch is good at what it does. It's just, it's not what we do as our main focus. And so it's better to support other versions of us. 
I have no concept what's going on. So, like, how many of these fit into one of these? I would say... Is it worth getting hints, not about this what to do in this puzzle, but, work. like, some vague hint of what the mechanic is based on? Obviously, window shape must matter. It's just impossible to figure out. So... What if I... Okay, no, you're just not going to let me. Are you going to die? You're not going to die. Interesting. But I can't do this. I don't know the when I can and when I can't. This is tricky. I wonder if work. part of it is, like, a curved surface can go to a curved that's surface. That's what I was looking at. But a flat at. surface can go to a flat surface. But, like, I just... But that's not true. Okay, like that this. isn't true. This is trickier than So curved and flat don't have to connect that way. That's a lie. And I was thinking it's like, cause great, one of these windows can fit into one of these windows, so we'll light up one extra window. But then I can't move, so I don't, I don't understand why I can't go up. This is trickier than it looks. It's very strange. You know what, Danny? I've seen a hint that makes me go, "This is not worth playing." Oh, really? As you play, this you are defining the rules works. of the game. What? Not discovering them. You are defining the rules as you play. I hope that's not true, because that doesn't make sense. But yeah, now it's only letting me go here, and that's going to kill is me. This trickier than it looks. Yeah, like, how would that make any sense? Let me, can I, do you mind if I click a little? Like, that sentence is... Cr like, okay, circles can go to anything. Let's say they go to these. Well, these should be able to... Can now not go to anything. Oh, no. Okay, so it's not... The rules of what window can go to what window is not based on the shape of the window. Because no. this can't go up to a square, but it can go left to a square. Correct. So, window shape does not affect your choice. Or at least is not the sole determiner of your choice. This is so this strange. This is trickier than it looks. This doesn't feel... Given that, like, as you said, people don't figure this out, implies to me that it is unfigure outable. Uh, like, it's one of these things, like... It's a puzzle that doesn't teach you well, and therefore you can't solve it, right? And I, and I think we are validated by the fact that this is generally considered a puzzle that nobody understands. Like, that it's not our fault. This so you can't do that. It and it just needs something that could teach you the mechanic. Because this is too complicated to teach it to you. Because this, this is wild. Why would that have happened? It's not unfigureoutable. It's just does not based on any of the pieces well, or any of the directions. This is trick or but then anything that kills else. it. Okay, so apparently you just can't start with that one. Again, I am brute forcing it. I didn't yeah, think so it was happening. Yeah, we're just brute forcing it, right? But like, I'm trying to brute force in order to learn, but it's just bad at teaching me. So I try the next step. Yeah, when I go from arch to square, it doesn't light up the thingy. Unless I've done two squares, in which case arch to square does light up the thingy. The shape doesn't matter because sometimes you, it's not about the shapes you can go to. It's, you li get limited directions. Like this rectangle can't go to a semicircle. Unless you're this rectangle, which can go to a semicircle. But based on previous puzzles, it may have nothing to do with the rectangle. It may have everything to do with the arch. Yeah. Whoa, what just happened? Yeah, if you go this to rectangle, then when I went this, it went back to the thing that we'd originally started with, which let us go to rectangle, which let us go to rectangle. But it didn't go back to the thing we'd already started with again. It went to a circle. I mean, yeah, you say notice what it's not letting you do. There's no consistency to what it's not letting us do. It's not letting us go from a window to a... Like, this, okay, circle doesn't let us go to circle. Except sometimes when it does. Except when circle does let us go to circle, in which case we can go to circle. In this case, circle doesn't go to circle or it doesn't go up. Circle does, doesn't go to square 
except when it does go to square. In this case, it doesn't. Circle can only go down, except when circle could go up earlier. So there's nothing inherent about circles that determines where they can go or what they can go to. But a circle that's been preceded by a square can't go to a square or a circle in this case. Yeah, a circle see, that came to from at... two squares can't go up. There's so many possible ways to interpret the things that have we have been given here. I'm trying to look at directional things like, hey, look at the bottom. We've got that one. It went up. Then a square went right. Then again, another blankie went up and a square went right. And now the circle's going down, but it just doesn't seem to be consistent. When we went to here, the circle, it wouldn't let us go anywhere because it was already... I mean, but is the... Hold on. Let's just lose. But it can't just be that circle only this goes down. Tricky. Yeah, because I can start or the circles at, a circle at the bottom do, wouldn't do anything. And it can go up. You so cer circles can go up. It just couldn't go up then for no reason. And usually when we go from this to a square, it goes crazy. And this time it doesn't. And now it's only going to let us go down. We're going to have to start again. But if we this go, they don't always go right. Because when we go from here to the thingy to the square, it goes left to. I'm going to have to start again. This is tricky. But if I go from works. here to here without starting at the square, it goes nowhere. I'm going to have to start again. This is trickier than it So looks. this, what this does when it moves to a square is affected by whether or not we've already been at a different window. Just what? So this window changes the rules for the transition from this to this. Mm -hmm. So if we've gone left to this and we go up, it tries to duplicate the move twice. I'm going to have to right? start again. This is trickier than But that's works. not true because when we go up to it, oh no, but we didn't click on it. Square duplicated the move I'm once. I'm going to have to start again. This right? is square to square, it doubles, it, it goes, it does it again. When we click on this thing, it does it twice. So if go here, if I click here, if that's true, no, that's not true. If I now go up it should go right twice i don't not quite i'm going to have to start again this is trickier than it looks if you forget what you did it gets easier except what we did i gotta say you say we're getting it this feels like we've just proven that it has no logical consistency if I took this square, when I go to a circle, nothing happens. I'm going to have to start again. Nothing happens after two. You're right. If I go to a circle, then I go up, it doesn't, and then nothing happens. No, nope. and, and then, then you I have can't to die. go right or up for some reason. And you go left and it kills you. Start again. This, this is trickier than it doesn't looks. make any sense. Oh. I'm going to have to start again. This is okay. trickier than I think it I looks. glimpsed something in the chat that explains it. Yeah, sort when of. When a square goes up, we define squares to always go up. So when I click on this, so if I click up, I'm it's just going to automatically do it for and us. This square will go up. This is yet to be defined, and so I can do whatever I want. Well, with it. except often you can't. True, but let's let's. So it can't go up because squares are already labeled up. It could go right or left or down if down wasn't lit up because I haven't assigned those directions. If I go left, this won't fill anything out. But we shouldn't. Sure, 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 sure. sure. But now it can't go up because squares are up. It can't go left because arches are left. It could go down, but then I would lose because that would try and go back up. This is and trickier it than it looks. Okay. That's wild. This is insane. Without a hint, that is impossible to get. It is wild. Okay. So we want to get up to the top. And I don't know. Here's actually, you know what? I have a question in preparation. Do these... Rectangle can't be up. Sh sure. Um, before, we, before we just... just mm -hmm. so I'm assuming that when we get to the next level, it will redefine the shapes. Or do the shapes stay defined for the entirety and therefore it's impossible to know what a good solution is now? Yeah, all you need is a simpler beginning that will define it. 
Definitions remain the same. Yikes. Far out. Okay. Well, what's a good way to get to the top? Well, see, we need to get up to the top, but yeah. you see the second highest road doesn't have any rectangles. Great. So rectangles cannot be up. That's how I'm These understanding These could it. go up. Sure. So if we these go the up, could. then rectangle becomes undefined. We don't really want anything to be down. But how would we get up? We'd have to go right to get another up. Hmm. But then that would force us right to here. Which we don't like. So we can't start from this one and go Is up. there... We could maybe go up from here. Define these as left. No. No, that wouldn't work. Maybe circles are up. Circles are up feels plausible. If circles go up... Maybe hanging over here if we make these right. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> If we made which one's right, sorry? Uh, these guys. These guys right. Yeah. So like start up here and go right? Or th start here and go No, because mm. if we go right then the squares yeah. would have to go up. Well, we don't if we start here we can make these right. Yeah, it's not where I wanted to be, but give Let's it a give shot. it a crack. So circles are up, these guys are right, which mm. leads us to another circle which takes us up. Which we want this can be, to be left. left, which takes us up and then up and then left and then here. You'll have to be down. Okay. Then you go right, down, left, left. Yes. Okay. Wow. But now the same thing is I'm true. Glad I did. Do, do we remember? <laughs> A lot the of the work. Circles are up. You yep. guys are right. Yep. These guys are down, are down. And these guys are left. Okay. So here, so. this would go up, left, left, up, right, up, right, down, right, right. down, or oh, down. Right. That's good. So okay. that's a good circle. That is... I like it matching the music. Absolutely wild. Um, so madness. My boy. We can just take this second circle, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Has brought you this far, but will you have the patience to go any further? <laughs> will I have the patience to go any further? I think it gets easier as you go. Man. I think they're assuming that people are brute forcing this. Yeah. So it's this one, right? Yeah. No! Like, that's super impressive, but it needs something. It just needs a simpler thing. Like, they start it at its most complex level, which means it's really difficult to learn any mechanics. Get up. I can't Run away. I can't. I looked over here and something happened. Is he got older. What's meant to have happened to her? She got turned into a mannequin. That's why. Yeah, you're right. Visual feedback for where it's trying to go. So you know when you fail, there's like, I want to go down, but I can't go down no yeah. more. Things like, like, yeah, it's, it's rough. Okay. Uh, we can go further on, or we can click on this chest and get drawn back somewhere we don't want to be, I'm assuming. <laughs> can somebody forewarn uh, me? If I click on this chest, does it just take me back to the game room and add 10 minutes of climbing up the stairs? The player does not see Eleanor get killed, but last time she's seen, she is turning into a mannequin. Mm-hmm. I really want to click this, but I don't want it to take me downstairs. I need somebody to tell me. Oh, she wanted to be a model, so she got turned into a model. Really? I like that. Really? I didn't. I haven't seen anything safe. about her wanting now, to be a model. Now, when you say safe, do you mean dangerous? I'm going to click it. And if this isn't safe, I'm banning you forever. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, Bones. What are you guys Bones doing? Friends. Bones. Uh, apparently, that was too close to our animal voice as well. McFly got up. I know where to go, Bones. Hey! What is my purpose? You point to the door. <laughs> hey! Oh! Bye! Alright, I love him. Thank you!
One last possible. I'm glad it clarified that, so now we can go to the door. Yeah, I would never have thought to go to the door. Oh. Let me go. It's okay, darling. You know I won't hurt you, but come upstairs. It hasn't happened yet. Let me. No! Let me. It's happening now. I, I've, I've been here before. I've seen all of this. Over. So I'm the boy? Trying to help myself over and over but always failing? Cool. Okay. No, no, no. Hey, door. Let's do it. <gasps> the attic. This is where ghosts would have their little faces popping out. <laughs> the smell. I can't breathe. That's okay, you're dead. <laughs> Bring him here! <laughs> I brought him the one you wanted, the guest. Someone, please, help me! I'm that boy. I just want to get out of here. My wish, I'll get my wish. <laughs> oh! Wow. He's much more demonic in this one. Projectile acid vomit? For Pete's sake. Oh, beautiful light flower. Oh, look at his crepey tongue. The fun effects. Mixing the FMV with CGI. I can't do anything. Do not wheel. Now, I don't like this weird image of his tongue. Skeleton got dragged to hell. Don't you hate it when that happens? Well, problem solved. Problem solved. You saved me. You. It's all been changed now. Now. You're terrifying. And forever. All I did was look at him. Was that the last puzzle of that house? Are we done? There's a lot more attic in the VR version. Though it's a lot less hard to get into the attic. We saved the boy. Hey, hey! By opening the door and saying, Hey, don't do that, Stauf. We saved the boy. GG, GG, GG. The Seventh Guest, Volume 1 of 100. Yeah, Ooh. once we knew what to do, that last puzzle was fun. Hey, it's Katie Mirovich. It is weird for the hell pit to be in the attic. Thanks, Matthew. Thank you for following. Thanks, Sam. 88 miles per hour. All these people look so like I know them. Yeah, good on you. Oh, it's okay. Sorry, dude. We should... The fat man. Oh, that was a picture of the fat man in the portrait gallery, I assume, because of the cowboy hat. Oh, no, there's, an, there's more cowboy fat. hats. Okay. Fat team fat. I might be wrong. They all have cowboy hats. Hey, Keith Ranny, don't kill me, please. <laughs> this guy. Bones and slime bones. We, you can find this in the VR version. I just remember. Oh yeah, yeah this you is can one find of the records. this record in the music room and oh, play nice. it. Oh nice, that's lovely. Hey Diane Watson, nice sound engineering. Is that a leather shirt? <laughs> the cheekbones connected to deceit bones. Hey hi, hey. I don't like this picture of a person covering a baby's hand. Like, I don't... 
Alan Iglesias is the 3D modeler. Veron G. Lewis, director of graphics. This, I will say, is a shockingly large cast for a game from 1993. Crew? Crew. Stunt persons? It had two stunt people. It got a funeral home to do makeup. Psychic consultants? What's a know-it-all consultant? Dear Abby, what? Worst, there's a worst boy. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is getting interesting. I think it's having fun. Okay, here's staff. Robert, here's Robert, Douglas, Nap. Any of these people became people, do you reckon? I do not. Michael Picaro. We Barry know Picaros. Rowell. We know some Picaros. Deborah Ritz-Mason. Jolene, Jolene Patrick. Jolene Patrick felt very familiar the entire time. Oh, Graham Devine, who made this, is Scottish. Oh, fun. And also made Quake 3 Arena. Ah, fun. I'd make Quake 3 Arena if I could. Elvis. Well, Elvis did a lot. Sissy Peck. Tad voiceovers. How many people doing Tad voiceovers? Michael Gator. Big Mike Glasecki. Other software. Pardon me. David Tanger. The Amityville Hysterical Society. Sure. Stayed at the Bates Motel. They just went to any creepy place they could. Oh, they, yeah, quite nice. Any similar to first person now living anyone or thing dead or undead is, is, is deliberate. We deliberately did that. Spot special effects on a bunny rabbit. <laughs> Amazing. Well, there we are. What a fun. Back for more. No, I'm not. Back I don't for know more. if we are. <laughs> Time to figure out if we can quit. Try and find out how to get out of here. We did it. That was fun. And fully recommend everyone get the VR version. Play that. Play the, the VR puzzles version. puzzles are a lot more doable. Yeah, doable puzzles. They in the still VR don't o they don't overhint you. You still have to figure things out, but it's all done in a way that makes sense. I mean, I like the idea of that final puzzle. Absolutely. My gosh, figuring it out is just just needed one why, little tweak. Just need a little tweak. Just need a little. Mm, just give me something. Give me some learning feedback. But hey, there you go, everybody. What a great, what a great thing, it is. Huh. That's it. I'm done. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. It was a fun stream. Yeah, thanks for listening guest. to that piano three times. Oh, the piano just kept on it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this has that classic thing of like some puzzle games. You're like, I get it. I've solved it. Please don't make me exactly. keep doing it. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I feel like in the VR version, once you have your aha moment, you still have to do the process, but for most of them, it's it doesn't take you much after that. <laughs> Sorry. And yes, put the McFly art on Discord. Let's see. Hold on, wait. What you doing? Remembering it. He is loading up GarageBand. Find a fun instrument. Got to pump that volume. All right, here we go. Oh, Almost yeah. right. I think that was it. You you flubbed a bit at the start. I flubbed a bit, but the flub is just because I got a tiny keyboard. I just pressed that keyboard so hard it went back to a picture of McFly. <laughs> <laughs> now to find it on a spookier instrument. Oh, yeah, there you go.
And there well we are. Well done. That's the that's how that's how long it was in the original <laughs> original back in 1981. Uh, All right. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Thanks for well, not listening, watching, because this is Twitch, not a podcast. So we're going to wrap it up there. we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, Escape This Podcast starting back up this week. Yeah, first proper episode. This Murder just came out. Mm-hmm. Aurelius? It just came out. Yeah, if you haven't if you haven't checked it out, we, we're on the latest uh, mystery of Aurelius Whitlock's murder museum. So if you are like, I love solving this murder, but I wish you were also solving another murder at the same time. You, that's true right now. You can go and check it out. Uh, so go and check out uh, Aurelius Whitlock's Murder Museum if you want to see us solving multiple murders at once. Um, solve this murder. Oh, we'll never solve it. So there you are. Hope you're all having fun. Hope you're all living large. Have Hope good you're weekends. All doing a flip. We'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. We will be in all of the Aureliuses until that mystery is solved. And when I say will be, I mean have already been. But you haven't heard it yet. Ah, uh, so there you are. Get that boy. Can Have I fun get streaming. that boy? Where to go? Can I get that boy? <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everybody. There.